If you are someone who creates long form content like YouTube videos, I have a really easy idea for you for your Instagram reels. And that is repurposing your YouTube videos or other long form video content into reels using a program called Descript. I am seriously so excited to be partnering with them for this video because immediately just from finding out about their program and what they are doing and the groundbreaking type of editing that they are offering offering makes me so excited to share it with you guys because it's going to save you guys a lot of time when you are going to repurpose your videos for reels, whether you are taking, you know, like zoom webinars or taking YouTube videos or even just other like longer form videos that you have done and taking snippets of that and turning it into reels and giving you a ton of content that you can work with without having to create reels all the time. Cause if you know me, you know, I am a huge fan of working smart smarter, not harder, and also making sure that we are batching and using the content that we already have to repurpose into other forms. So we're not constantly just creating new content or spending more time than we need to creating content. So that's what we're going to walk you through today. I'm going to pull up Descript and walk you through taking one of my past YouTube videos and how I'm breaking it up into smaller, shorter videos that I can then upload to Reels. The reason why Descript is such an awesome program is because it essentially allows allows you to edit your videos basically like you're editing a text doc. So instead of editing your videos like you might in other programs where you're having to listen to the video and decide where you want to cut and edit, it transcribes your entire video for you so you can like select and delete stuff. You can uh, fill out or filter out gaps in your video really easily, filter out filler words and different things like that, as well as some really cool features like um, adding dynamic text and progress bars and waveforms and different things like that. So you can easily add different things into your video. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And thank you again to Descript for sponsoring this video. I genuinely am so excited to show you guys. As I have been using this program, I am blown away with just how easy it is to use and how you're able to do so many different things with it. It makes things so fast and easy when it comes to creating videos, no matter if it's long form or short form, or like we're talking about today, repurposing your long form into short form. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial on how exactly to do this. All right, so the first step to taking a long form video and repurposing it, you're gonna wanna make sure obviously you have your video pulled up and you have it available to use. So for example, I have this YouTube video right here. This video is about how to grow on Instagram from scratch. So it's actually a recent video that I created on my channel and I wanna take snippets of it and create it into a short form video that I can upload to things like Reels, even like TikTok or YouTube Shorts are really great options for short form video. And then I also included in this folder just a few brand assets that I can use. So like this is a um, pink blob design that I have that I use for a lot in a lot of places for my brand across my website and YouTube and things like that. I have just a plain pink background image in case I need that to work with. I have this other little, I guess it's kind of like another blob that I can use to on the background of text or something like that. So I've got a few things to play with and I just find it easier to kind of gather these things in one place. You can also navigate to any folder maybe that you have for these types of things and pull them into Descript, but for the sake of this, I find it way easier to simply have it all in one folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, go escape from full screen with my folder right here. When I do that, I actually already have Descript pulled up. And of course, there's going to be a link right below this video where you can try Descript. You can actually try it out for free. Once you download it onto your computer, you're going to see the program looking something like this. So this is my Descript account pulled up right here. And the first First thing we're going to want to do right here is go ahead and create a new project. So I'm simply going to hit the blue new button in the upper right hand corner. We're going to hit project right here and then give it whatever name that we want. I'm going to go ahead and name it real because that's um, what I want to create out of this video. Some Instagram reels and I'm going to say grow on Instagram from scratch. So I remember which YouTube video that I'm working with right here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit create project. 
So now it's gonna pull this up and we're gonna go back to our folder. So I'm gonna pull up Finder right here. And the easiest way I think is just to drag and drop your video into here. You can also hit choose file right here and navigate to the file that you want to use. But I prefer to pull up my Finder folder and then just drag the video into the program. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is just wait for it to load. It honestly does not take super long. I've played around with this quite a bit and it's super, super fast at uploading and also exporting, which is so, so nice because you know those video files sometimes can get huge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for this to upload into here and then once it does I will loop back to you guys and we'll continue. All right so the video footage is done uploading and all it has to do is get the transcript ready and something really cool that you can do especially especially helpful if you are working with video where maybe you are interviewing someone or there are two different speakers you can actually identify different speakers. Uh, obviously it's just me speaking in this video so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my name right here hit done here and then we're gonna go ahead and wait for transcribing to happen, which should only take a couple more minutes, and then we can go ahead and start editing. All right, so my transcription is now fully loaded into here. It only took a couple of minutes, which is really nice. So as you can see, when you look over to the left right here, we have the title of the project at the top, and then this is literally a transcription from the entire video. Like, doesn't that kind of blow your mind that it's able to do that? And then this is how you are able to edit the video. On the right hand side is where we have the video right here, and then down below here is where you can see even like specific words if you need to jump around, the waveform, different things like that. This is where you can also split things up. So, but what, what we're gonna do here is my, so when we're talking about repurposing videos into shorter videos, what I want to do, and this is where this is like amazing, is you can just like just scroll through the transcription here and skim it and see, you know, what are some like, you know, big ideas that you said or what are some really impactful things that you said throughout the video. So I'm just scrolling through here. I haven't even looked at this, so I'm literally doing this in real time with you guys and looking through and seeing um, what I might want to do. So for example, right here I say, and I really attribute, this is one of the biggest reasons my Instagram account has grown 20, 25,000 followers over the past year is using Instagram Reels. And a lot of people like you guys find me that way. So, but then I don't really talk anymore about that. So I think I'm going to skip down because I talk about my free class and I don't necessarily need to have that in a short form video. So let's go ahead and keep scrolling here. So something that I talk about in this video is the idea of community on Instagram, just how even more important it is going into 2022. So I even look right here in this paragraph, I can see where I say on Instagram in 2022, recognize that community is is everything. When it comes to growing an account, I want you to make sure you're not just focused on the numbers, the number of followers, likes, make sure you're going a, growing a community. And I talk about how to do that. So this little section right here, right here might be a really good thing to pull from this video that's you know, kind of just pulling something out from the middle that I know is really impactful and will get people thinking, right? So if you, um, like with watching this, you can either scroll through it down here and click and then you're able to play it and watch it. You can also simply click on the, um, let me go back to where I was. You can click on the part of the video that you want to start from and then I just hit the space bar and it will play the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that real quick so you guys can hear, we can get an idea, make sure this is what we want to use. On Instagram in 2022 is recognize that community is everything when it comes to growing an account. I want you to make sure you're not just focused on the numbers, the number of followers, the likes, the engagement, the views. Make sure that you're actually genuinely growing a community. So when I say growing a community, this means, you know, actually engaging back with the people that follow you, you know, respond to them with, instead of just regular DMs, give voice messages back to them. Show up consistently for your people who are following you and who have already decided that they love your brand and want to learn more about you. And so Okay, so I think that's about where I would end it. So I'm going to, the next step when you want to create then a sh like pull a shorter clip from a video that's already, you're already working in. So whether you're editing in Descript or it's already edited like this video, what you wanna do is just select the words that you want to essentially turn into a different video. So I wanna select starting from on Instagram 2022 and then I'm going to end it with uh, and want to learn more about you. And then the next thing you do is simply right click 
go down to clip to composition and then hit new right here. So what that did is it essentially created like a new section under your project that you're working in called a composition. So when we go over to the left hand side right here, you'll see it has clips from real grown instruments from, from scratch. And that's the clip that we actually just made. So if we click on over there, we can see um, it has the section of the clip that we want to use. The next thing that I'm going to do is just make sure there aren't any words I need to correct because I do want to add closed captions to this video. So I'm just going to go through and see. I think there was maybe just one word, but otherwise like this really nailed it as far as the actual words. On Instagram in 2022 is recognize that community and I might even so with that first sentence I'm just gonna select is and hit the backspace here and delete that is so it makes more sense in the context of this reel so it just says on Instagram in 2022 recognize that community is everything instead of because I basically cut it off mid-sentence so just making it make more sense for the reel on Instagram in 2022, recognize that community is everything when it comes to growing an account. So I also want to correct here. So there's not supposed to be a period and this should be lower cap. So we're going to correct that. Go ahead and delete this period here. Because on the numbers, the number of followers, make sure you join with the growing community. With growing community. So I'm actually going to delete where it says, so when I say growing a community, because I feel like it's a little repetitive, especially when we're thinking about short form video, we want things to be fast, right? We want things to be quick and we don't want people, their attention spans are so short. So we want to be sure to keep them as long as possible. So I'm just going to delete this because I feel like it's a little redundant. And so make sure you're actually genuinely growing a community. This means, you know, actually engaging back with the people you follow. I can even delete some of these like, you knows, because their filler words and they don't need to be in there. And again, trying to keep their attention. Respond to them instead of just regular DMs. Google voice messages back, or let's see, let's do what this says right here. Instead of just regular DMs, Google voice messages. Okay, I think I was trying to say, I said the word very strange, <laughs> um, but give voice messages back to them. And that will just correct the uh, uh, text so that when I am adding closed captions later, it will have the right words popping up underneath. Do voice messages. And I'm actually gonna change this so that the S is a lowercase. Just makes more sense to me. Regular DMs, do voice messages back to them. Show up consistently for your people who are following you and who have already decided that they love your brand and want to learn more about you. All right, so I'm just gonna watch this from the top, make sure it looks good before I start editing the rest of this. On Instagram in 2022, recognize that community is- I can even see like right there, there's kind of a gap. So I'm actually gonna come down here and just move this over a little bit to get rid of that gap. And let's see. On Instagram in 2022, back with the people that follow you. Respond to them with, instead of just regular DMs. Okay, so this, I think actually needed to be responding. Which is totally okay. Delete that. Respond. All right. You respond to them with, instead of just regular DMs. Okay, so that looks really, really good to me. So the next step now is I need to change the video so that it is a vertical size. So we want it to be a nine by 16 ratio. So if we go ahead and just hit here, this little um, box with the white boxes inside of it, video settings, that's where you can change the orientation. Pretty simple. So we're just gonna change it down to portrait right here. Uh, honestly could not be easier, right? And then when we are um, over here editing in the video, so I'm just gonna scroll all the way back here. This is where you can change what the actual video is going to look like. I'll make this just a tiny bit bigger so we can utilize all the space we have. And this is where you can click and drag on the video. You can bring it up. You can use these little, the little um, pink box around the video. You simply use that to make it bigger, smaller, however you want it. I'm gonna make it probably about two thirds the size of the screen because I wanna add a bunch of stuff down below like the words and stuff like that. And we can always change that as well. Um, later as we like continue editing and stuff like that. 
So to go ahead and add some of those um, some of those elements to this. So we're gonna talk about adding the dynamic text, which is like closed captions that pop up as you're talking. And then also, I really uh, like the features, the waveform and the progress bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and first add a background. So see how it's black on the bottom here? I'm gonna go ahead and actually add one of those brand assets that I have and to do that, so to add like a photo or something to you know either part of the video, if you just want it to show up in part of the video, but for this I want it to show up in the entire video. I'm just gonna select all of the text. We're gonna go ahead and pull back up our finder folder and then you can just drag and drop whatever you want. So for this, I have this pink blob right here that I can make bigger and like fill that bottom part of the screen and it just like fits in with my brand a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this onto my video right here. You can see it added it over the whole video and then now we're able to resize it and move it around and put it exactly where we want it. So I'm gonna make it actually kind of big so it covers a big portion of the video here. And we're gonna do something like this. I don't want any of the black to show up. I'm gonna put it maybe right about here. And actually I'm gonna move it down a little bit and then we're gonna make this video a little bit bigger right here to fill all that in. Perfect, okay, now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and add our dynamic text. So again, you just select all of the text you wanna do this for. Obviously it would be like the entire video, unless you only want it in part of the video. Um, you obviously have that flexibility too, but we're gonna go ahead, um, when we have it all selected, we're gonna hit the plus button at the top right here. And this is where you have, I mean, there's a ton of options here for different things that you can do. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit, whoops, I'm gonna hit text right here. And then on the right hand side, the first thing you wanna do is hit, see where it says dynamic text? You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and toggle that on and that's actually going to pull text like pull what you're saying um, from your video and pop it up right there as you're talking. So real quick, I'm gonna actually click on the pink um, blob right here and right click on it and move it down. Move it, make sure it's moved down to, well we don't want it on the bottom, so we want this one on the bottom. So let's right click, move to bottom, and then our text should be right on top now. So let's go ahead and play it. On Instagram in 2022, recognize that community is everything when it... Okay, so you can see at the bottom here, it's popping up those captions. But basically, we want to uh, customize this to our brand, right? We want this to match our branding and colors and all of that. So I'm just going to make a few changes here where you can change the font. You can click on this. We can... Let's go ahead and click on Railway because that's actually one of my brand fonts. You can change the sizing right here. So like I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And then you can even change the little box. You can move it up and down so you can like decide how many lines you want it to be. We're gonna do something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the stroke and turn off the shadow here. And I'm actually gonna change the fill color to a dark gray. Maybe something like this. Beyond this, I also want to add some, a waveform and a progress bar. So again, I'm gonna select all of my text right here. And let me just go ahead and get that. And then hit plus right here. And then I'm going to hit waveform. And then let's go ahead and make sure, I'm gonna right click here on that layer, make sure it's all the way up. So it should pop up when we play it now. On Instagram in 2022, Perfect. recognize that. So you can see like down here, the waveform popped up right there, which is super fun. I'm actually gonna move it down one layer so that the text is over top. So I can still adjust. I might make this a little bit shorter so that everything's gonna fit. And then let's go ahead and also add a progress bar. So I'm gonna select all the text plus, and then progress bar right here. And I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. So let's go ahead and play and see how this looks. On Instagram in 2022, recognize that community is everything when it comes to growing an account. I want you I'm actually gonna move my text down just a little bit. I feel like it's a little squished up there. Same with this. And then the other thing that I want to move out is when I edited the YouTube video, we added an uh, overlay where it says community is everything, but it doesn't really make sense in this context. So just for this portion of the clip, um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can't see that text popping up. It comes to growing an account. 
Okay, so I'm gonna split it right here. And then let me go ahead and zoom in right here. I'm just moving with my mouse up and down or side to side. I'm actually gonna cut off that gap too where I was talking. And then it's about this. And then we're gonna go ahead and make just this clip bigger. So I'm making sure just this clip is selected where I split it and we're gonna cover up that text so you can't see it. And yeah, let's go ahead and play and see how this looks. On Instagram in 2022, recognize that community is everything. Another really fun feature that I want to point out with the dynamic text, I have the text selected right here. I'm gonna scroll down on the right-hand side and turn on word level animation. And it's actually going to, as I'm speaking each word, like highlight it in whatever way that I want to really. So, uh, so we have active word color right here. And this is where you can like change whatever color that's going to be. So you can see like in this part of the clip, I'm saying recognize. So that's why recognize is so bold. I'm actually going to use my yellow branding color, which I actually have right here saved. We're going to uh, copy the little hex for that. Go back to our text and I'm going to paste that as the active word color. So let's go ahead and watch this from the beginning. See if there's anything else we might want to change. On Instagram in 2022, recognize that community is everything when it comes to growing an account. I want you to make sure you're not just focused on the numbers, the number of followers, the likes, the engagement, the views. Make sure that you're actually genuinely growing a community. This means, you know, actually engaging back with the people that follow you. Respond to them with, instead of just regular DMs, give voice messages back to them. Show up consistently for your people who are following you and who have already decided that they love your brand and want to learn more about you. Cool. All right, so that looks amazing to me. Like, guys, look how legit that looks and how easy that was to edit. Like, I am seriously completely blown away. When you're ready to export your file, it's pretty simple. You just hit share in the upper right hand corner. That's where you can then go to export and you have a few different options here. You can either upload it directly to YouTube. You can upload or export the video file. That's typically what I do. You can also export it into other programs if you would like to continue editing in other ways, which I think is pretty nifty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and export the final video file right here though. We're gonna go hit export. And then I went ahead and navigated to the folder that I would like to save this to. Obviously you can change this name to whatever you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it and hit save right here. And then that's where it's going to export the video. Once it's done, it'll be available there. You can then save it to any of your smartphone devices if you wanna upload it to Reels. But I know with uh, YouTube, you can upload YouTube Shorts. I believe directly from YouTube on your desktop, you might also need to use the YouTube app in order Order to do that but it makes it this just makes the process so simple I still am like completely blown away if you want to check out Descript be sure to head to the link right down below you can try it out completely for free start making your own videos like this and use their incredible editor to edit your video and your audio files as if you're editing a text doc which is just it still kind of blows my mind. So thank you, big shout out again um, to Descript for sponsoring this video. I seriously am so excited. Like I genuinely am going to be using this program for so many things when it comes to editing all the video and audio because we have a lot going on in my brand when it comes to that. And I know this is gonna save us so much time, make things so simple and allow us to do even more when it comes to repurposing content like this. Once you try it out, be sure to let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it. If you are wondering anything, we would absolutely love to help in any way that we can when it comes to using Descript to edit videos and convert your long form videos into short form video. And I know it's going to save you guys so much time and just even for the way that my brain works, uh, I feel like this editor just is so much easier and it's so nice that you can just see the actual transcript and that it correlates with the video that you're editing, which is, it's just awesome. So let us know if you have any questions. We would be more than happy to help in any way that we can. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys.